Change it up a little bit. Get off of all this nasty little sex talk stuff, y'all. Hey, ain't nothing wrong with a little sex talk. <sighs> Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about sex. Tell me if you like it when I kiss on your lips. Got you through the valley of an ocean. Make you breathe in slow motion. Read your mind and come explore the galaxy. Have a little taste of my baby. What's good, y'all? I'm your host, Asia. And I'm your host, BJ. And, and this, this is X the script. script. Y'all, we are Xing the script out. We just going <laughs> off the cuff. Yeah. Off the muscle. Yeah. That's how we're going to get it in. For <laughs> real, for real. I'm how excited you, to be here today. How you feeling, Miss Rocker? I'm good. I'm good. Feeling like, good, feeling blessed. Because it looked like you rocking into the free world. <laughs> <laughs> I had to put on something, you know, a little different today. I hope y'all like it. Okay. Mm. It's bright. I know. Kind of. Depends on where you're looking. But yeah. Yeah, yeah y'all. I yeah, feel yeah, good. Yeah, How about yeah, you? Yeah. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. I'm feeling copacetic. I'm energized. I'm ready to go. This is the top of the top. And we're going to get it in in a real way. Yeah. Uh, everybody that's watching right now, make sure y'all go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss any videos or any of these episodes from Asia and I. If y'all are streaming, y'all go ahead and make sure y'all download every episode. We can be found on every streaming platform, whether it's iTunes, whether it's Spotify. Yeah. All of them, all the major ones. Y'all tap in. iHeartRadio. Y'all yeah. make sure y'all hit that download button. Don't Absolutely. just pass us by now. Leave us a review. Okay, I would certainly appreciate it. Above all, man, we just appreciate y'all for tapping in with us. Yeah, showing us major love, Com everything. Commenting on our videos. Yeah, y'all. And then most importantly, seeing those downloads go up, too. You know What's what I deal? see, though? I see a lot of y'all, like, y'all y'all a comment. Y'all, some people will comment because they just get out there and they just comment because they don't care. But then I get a lot of people <laughs> that send me messages, like, after we post it. <laughs> <laughs> A video to, to give me they they feedback and they and they commentary. I'm like, no, nah, don't be scared to say what you got to say on the channel. Don't be right. <laughs> put, like, because you it, don't want your name to show. I cannot with y'all. Okay, put the comment under the video and let it be known. <laughs> I feel you on that. I feel you on that. Y'all be tripping me out. Like at least like three or four people have done that. They send me messages they like. I'm just going to say this right here because I didn't want to say it on the channel because, you know, I ain't want my name and stuff on there. But, but and I'm like, no, nah, don't, mm -mm. uh-uh. <laughs> mm -mm. What you need to do is copy and paste this and put that comment under that video. Okay, I see what kind of time y'all on. Y'all don't want right. people to see y'all name they, because they don't want to know their business. Yeah. yeah, they don't want y'all to know. It's okay. The freaks come out at night. Yeah. Don't worry. Nobody will see it. I promise. It's okay. Don't be trying to cheat. I'm just saying. We got a we got a really good confessional too. Yeah, we got a good confessional, y'all. Y'all been sending us some good, yes, good yes, confessions. Y'all yes. shout out to the fam. We really do appreciate y'all taking time to type this stuff up and entrust us with really personal information. It's I know we life. said that the last time, but last the last episode, if y'all missed it, like y'all have to go back and watch that. That was actually a really good episode. Um, and we got a lot, a lot of good feedback and commentary on that. And a lot of men who actually sent us thank yous to appreciate us for putting stuff out there like that. Because again, it was just something I felt like, you know, might have been a little bit triggering for some, but like for, in others, in, in a lot of cases, like a lot of people probably, I mean, really was like, you know, we appreciate you for, thank you for, yeah. for putting that out there, you Absolutely. know, for us men, because, you know, it is, it is a real thing. So yeah, we here for y'all. And, and, and a lot of these things got to be brought to the forefront too. They do. They do. And you I know. think some stuff too, which would be good about what we're doing in this platform is talking about stuff that may not be comfortable for a lot of people, even just to talk about within like your own friend right. group, you know? Right. So, you know, if you got some questions y'all and y'all have some concerns or something you want to bring up that maybe you aren't feeling comfortable about talking to other people about and you just want to get like unbiased opinions from out there, the people in the public, they really going to tap in and, and give y'all the real raw in a real way 1000, too. okay? Like and if you if you really want to put it out there like y'all, we will we will we will bring it to yeah. the forefront. I'm just telling y'all that now. And, so. and we're not trying to shy away from like any type of topic either. I yeah. mean, we, we just here for the convo. We're here for the conversation. We're here for the growth too. Yeah, yeah. You know. So make sure y'all send those yeah. 
over to our website. Y'all can go and chime in to our website at www.asiaandbj.com. Fill out your confession, your question, your concern, whatever it is that you have, and you can shoot that over. It will come directly over to us, and we'll check it out, tap in with y'all. You know, if it's good content, y'all, we're going to be putting it up here, and we're going to be talking about it. Everybody going to be chiming in. I'm just saying. You ready to go ahead and jump into this one? Yes. You know what? It's so fun. Like, I could not wait to get to this today, y'all. <laughs> so so y'all know we're doing all these scary movie reactions over on Reeling with Asian BJ. If you're not a part of the channel, make sure you go over there and tap in. Chime in to the YouTube channel, y'all. We do movie reactions yeah, over yeah. there. And we have started our Scare Fest, Scare October, Horror October, however you want to call it. But this month has been off the chain, to say the least, so far. Have we you been able to watched, sleep at night? Oh, my gosh. We watched this movie called Hereditary. Oh. I feel like I'll never be the same. That's the one that did it to you. That's the one that did it to you. I will never, ever be the same after watching that movie. That movie was probably by far, like, the scariest movie I feel like I have seen in a very long time. I was not expecting what I saw in that video. I I just was not. I didn't either. And everybody kept telling (laughs) us, check out Hereditary. Like, the best thing I could probably say is I was, like, completely disturbed by what I saw. Me too. And then for everybody to kind of give us like the backstory and kind of fill in the gaps <laughs> as far as things that we didn't understand about Hereditary. Sure, me too. It, it was it was off the charts as far as like disturbing, scary things that go bump in the night. I mean, it, it's going it's going it's going to raise like the the hair on your arms and the hair on the back of your neck, you know. Let me just say it's not normal. It's crazy. It's not normal. It okay? was crazy. That's not a normal scary movie. Like that's not Hmm. Y'all, if you have not seen that movie, I highly recommend that you see it. But I'm going to just tell you right now, like, if you just, yeah, the you little want... bit of, like, the scary in movies that you think that you saw before, like, this ain't got nothing on that. I feel like this is going to change mm. your life. <laughs> and, and especially if you're, like, one of those cat. people that, that you can't handle scary movies or you can't you can't really handle, like, disturbing things, this is a movie that will keep you up at night. Absolutely. Like, for real, for real. I felt like I needed some holy water. I needed to say a prayer. I needed to say about two prayers before I went to bed. <laughs> I, I, I had to get up the next morning and, and, and burn some sage. Like It makes you feel that exact way when you sit there and watch Hereditary. Yeah. I'm yeah. having a lot of fun with it. Same here. Same here, y'all. So what are we getting into today, though? We got a confession like no other. These are my confessions. You know? Come on now. Come on. This man, I thought I said I'd like to say my chick on the side. Said she, she got, got one on the way. way. These are my confessions. Man, I'm told and oh, okay. You ready to go ahead and get into it? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> we should go ahead and get it. <laughs> we should go ahead and get into it. So Okay, y'all. All right, y'all. Here we go. BJ gonna read the anonymous uh. confession today. Let's jump oh in, y'all. Y'all chime into the comments too. Let us know what y'all think, okay? Because they want some feedback. So here you go. So what do I do when a threesome causes problems in our marriage? Me and my husband have been together since we were in middle school age around 14 or 15, and we are now in our late 40s. Happily married, I might add. For years, my husband had tried to bring a female in our bed, and I was like, nope, ain't never going to (laughs) happen. As the years rolled on, I got tired of him asking, so I said, okay, we can talk about it and see. We talked about it for months and mapped out what was expected and what was not and came to an understanding. We had a safe word just in case one of us decided we wanted to end it. We agreed to only a female, and there would be no penetration in regards to my husband having intercourse with a female. Okay. Okay, so they already, they already kind of laying out, like, the rules and regulations with Well, this you one. have to. Like, so what? So you know what's acceptable, what's not acceptable. No okay. kissing. Don't be trying <laughs> to be over the top. You can't touch here. You can't look that way. I, all that okay i i okay okay, okay. so i uh, see i see i already she see, got rules i already see what you 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 not you know you not you can't do nothing it's only gonna be fun <laughs> to some extent okay until i say so so they're making boundaries yeah the female knew i was nervous and took control of things and calmed down my nerve i love my husband and our sex life was great but this female turned my ass out whoa i have never felt so much pleasure in my life She knew exactly what to do and made me have multiple orgasms. When I say I was pleased more than once, I mean my toes curled so many times. 
My husband played with both of us, and we got him off twice. It was so much fun, and we enjoyed ourselves tremendously. I would say that about four months into the threesome, things started to change. My husband got jealous of the way that she could please me so easily and effortlessly. It was like he couldn't please me anymore. <laughs> I, I don't know if it was for a lack of trying or... Or I was expecting the thrill from a female. Whoa. Let me make this be known. I don't have any type of feelings for this female or want a relationship with her. But I am having a hard time letting go of the sex because it's amazing. Oh my gosh. I love my husband and don't want this to ruin our relationship. But I'm so confused. <laughs> what do I do? And men out there, be careful what you ask for because you might not like it when you get it. Thank you, Asian BJ, for taking the time to read my confession. Whoa! But yeah, okay. That, but yeah, that, that's from an anon anonymous viewer. For you sure. know what? I feel like that would be like my worst nightmare. That would be my biggest fear about even doing something like that. What if you do it and it's something that Man. you really want and then it ends up being something that you just cannot get enough of because you really, like, from both perspectives, like, if you did it because you wanted to do it as the woman that right. wanted to do it and then you do it and then your husband is like, oh my God, like, that was the best thing ever and then they have have a hard time letting it go or vice versa like in this case she actually had sex now i would be curious to know like if this was her first experience or first time actually experiencing like i'm thinking so it's, that it's, type it's, of it intimacy sounds like it is with a woman yeah it sounds like it is oh snap like oh man but you know how things are when they like are new like think about like how it is when you first get with somebody in a relationship the very first time even even as a couple boy and girl you know how much sex y'all have, like mm -hmm. how good that how sex good is, and how like you like how exciting it is because it's new, it's yeah, fresh. Yeah, I cannot wait to get it again, like type of thing, right? So like yeah, I can only yeah, you imagine. You told me that a few times. <laughs> <laughs> And I, and I done told you that a few times, too. I can't even tell you, like, how I feel like, damn. She was like, nope, nope, I don't want to do it, I don't want to do it. And then she did it, and she was like, when's she coming back? <laughs> yeah, and, and that's what she said. She said that she just really, really enjoyed it. Uh, now to the point that now her husband... It's almost like now he lost in translation. He don't even know how to get his wife off anymore. Because so what was the question? The psychology. Did she, she, she ask just, a question? She, yeah, she was just like, 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 what do we do just regarding right now, uh. regarding like their sex life now? Because now he feels jealous that he can't, you know, he can't get a rise out of her the, the way that he used to. So it's, especially now, the fact that he he witnessed it, like, like he witnessed another woman get his wife off in a way that he never have, that he never could. He, I'm talking like toes curled, like I'm talking about the toes curled up, looking like, like, like hawk fingers, <laughs> like she, like they curled all the way up. <laughs> Were her feet made a fist? <laughs> no man. Like it was that good. Wow. You know what I mean? Yeah. But see, he, I think he got what he asked for. The easiest thing to do is y'all got to stop. Y'all have to stop this before. <laughs> before you start trying to venture out and explore on your own and then you start trying to because because I feel like when something like that happens like you going you going go any means necessary to try to get that feeling back again like to feel what that felt like and to have that same type of orgasm or that same type of sensation yeah by reliving that situation all over again. So either you're going to keep on trying to like climb your way to it and figure out how you can get to the next situation that, that will allow that for that to happen, or you're not going to stop thinking about it. But you like the easiest way to probably get out of that is just to stop. <laughs> Why you ahead? Yeah. Because yeah. Yeah. if you don't, it's just I feel like that's what's gonna start bothering him even more, and it's gonna probably start making the husband more and more insecure about what it is that he's doing, especially seeing that the wife is like getting down the way that she is. Like yeah, she, getting, she said, she multiple down. orgasms. Oh you know? man! Oh and, man! And, and also the way that I see it, like even with the soul ties, like when when you transferring that type of energy with a with another person, and then you bring, you know a miscellaneous person into your bedroom, especially when it comes to like the covenant of a marriage, that's where the issues can start. Especially of like when, especially when y'all continue to keep doing it. She said they've done it over the span of like four months. So there's no telling how many multiple times they've actually like had these threesomes 
and she's got needs multiple orgasms. Just like you said, you got to cut it off at some point you, and, and just like, try and just try to get back to your regular <laughs> schedule to programming. Okay, some kind of way. Otherwise, it's just like that's what you gonna start looking forward to it and having like those same type of threesomes. And it's just like when he starts seeing that he's not doing what she's doing then that's when the problems are really going to start. Yeah. I just think that they're like in, in more ways than one. And it's not just going to be the bedroom. Like there's going to be things that start becoming like a domino effect to that. Like could, to, yeah. with that situation, like, you know, insecurities, maybe even trust issues because, because now you've shown him how much you liked it and how much you enjoyed it. And he's, witnessed how <laughs> exciting that makes you feel like that feeling now it's like Damn. if you All ask to go with your girlfriend somewhere by yourself he gonna start wondering what you're doing for real like like all these questions the star gonna co- like it's possible yeah it's possible there's a good possibility even if you are in a happy marriage if i saw another woman please you in a way that i've never been able to do like do something that i could never do mm-hmm. And and then I see how like excited that made you feel. Like I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna feel some type of way. Like, what well, did you need to take notes? Well, damn it! Like, what is it that she doing that I'm not doing that that you feel so excited about you that to, she's doing that to, I can't? You are gonna have to ask her. Okay, now, how, how, no. now how did you move your tongue? How did you? Do no, your... <laughs> no. I, I gotta. Just... Do, I... I how mean, do I got to do my lips? <laughs> because in other words, like the only other way that you could do or, or or to fix that is for you to articulate to him specifically what it is that she's doing that is making you that aroused or getting mm. you that excited. But I mean, like, and that's not something that's going to make you feel uncomfortable. But I feel like what? that's something you should be able to have a conversation with your husband and or your significant other in general. Like that in general, like if you tell... When you tell somebody what it is that you want in in particular, mm-hmm. like you are very specific right. about w- how it makes you feel, what it is that that is happening specifically that, that makes you feel a certain type of way. So when you articulate that and you're very specific in things like like and I feel like that's a conversation that a man and woman should have anyways, Absolutely. like even just. In terms of intimacy, when y'all are having those like pillow talks and stuff and, and you telling him stuff like tell him what it is that you like that she did to you that got you that made you feel a certain type of way. Because and a see, man's touch is always going to be different from a woman's touch. But that's what I'm saying. Like that's going to be one of the one of the factors that you just can't deny. Like nobody knows a woman's body more Better than, than a, a woman. woman. <laughs> And, and but and, it, it and, might be you don't know you don't know what that thing she didn't tell you what that thing was but i'm saying oh, i like, know what that thing was it could have been that you know she was t- touching her a certain type of way and no. doing something <laughs> else like that he doesn't do because he normally does what he does but that's like, what i'm saying but you're trying to say that that he should that that they should talk about what turns you know what, what she did that turned her on, that gave her multiple <laughs> orgasms. So, so it's almost like now he got to try to replicate and duplicate that. But what if he can't? What if he? What, if he, wh- what if he can't live up to that standard of what of, of what the other girl did to her? Okay, but then that's just what something she gonna have to be okay with. But at least there's. The fact that she's explained it to him, like what it is that she's doing, like in that moment, in that moment, like what it is, like just like. Hell, when you when you trying to get a dude off like that, they gonna say keep doing that, keep doing that. Like I'm gonna tell you like this. I'm just saying it, like it, it shouldn't it's, be it's that hard. Just that specific, but because but you don't know until you until you say what it is that you like. I don't think that her husband thought that it would turn out the way that it would turn out. Of course he did it. I don't think he knew that his woman, that his wife was going to be turned on but, to the degree that she was turned on. Yeah, but you that know. that would be the whole part of like taking the risk of doing something like that because because you know all the risk associated with you doing something like that like that's just not something you just are like oh okay yeah let, yeah let's go ahead and do it half of the reason why there is hesitation is because you do start thinking and analyzing things that potentially could happen in this situation things that could go wrong like things that could happen long term like and if you don't then i don't you know you you should. Yeah. I just think it's different because <laughs> I'm thinking that, that he was thinking about more of the enjoyment of having two women at the same time more than probably his wife and the other woman really, really enjoying themselves But at the same together. time, she did say that she didn't allow him to have intercourse with her either. So, like, he Yeah, didn't, penetration. He, t- he you know, I, I don't know how much he would get out of it 
other than like, you know, little things here and there. Like, I don't know how much of it he would have gotten out of it. But at the same time, you know, she didn't give him the opportunity to, to, to have any penetration with her either. So maybe there's something that, that he didn't get to feel either. But because he he missed out on that part. And that might be the jealous part of it, too, because I just think his wife enjoyed it a lot more than he did, because I felt like they was a, she was able to kind of go all the way. You know what I mean? And actually get like a full like orgasm. And that, that might have been something that she hasn't gotten from him. That's what it sounds like. It gets really, really dicey, like with threesomes, bringing somebody else into the bedroom. Well, shoot. Go and get chop that up with him and tell 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 your man like specifically like what it is that she did. And maybe he could try to recreate that. But but aside from that, like you better stop it. You better stop it because because if he already seeing that, oh man, there's going to be more to follow, I guarantee. You. There's going to be more gestures of jealousy that are going to start f- probably frustrating you more than anything just over a period of time. I just think that. Like I said, he, now he's seen it. Now he knows that that a woman can do what he can't do mm-hmm. and he probably like mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah, it probably blew his mind. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? You probably would need to go ahead and just like just pump the brakes on that and just be like, okay, babe, we done with that. We ain't gonna do that anymore. Let's focus on our sex life. Let's focus now on our sex life and how we can make our sex life at the highest level between just us now. Dang, now they've been knowing now, each other for now, a long time. Now that too. we had that experience, exactly. And and maybe the sex at some point in time, especially for him, probably got you know it got repetitious and kind of dull to a certain point that's, because that's they've been together possible. since they were 14 or 15. Yeah. So I, I'm, you know, just wanting to experience something, but you just got to be careful what you want to experience, you know, for me and for us, like I would want to experience things, but I wouldn't want to experience it by bringing an- another individual into the bedroom. Like you got to find other ways, you know, all of that to say, yeah, I think, I think maybe she found out some things that even she didn't even know that she could do. But, but like you said, it, it could have been like, you know, being that they have been together for as long as they have, like, you know, there is like a thing called complacency sex. I mean, it's just very regular. You going through the motions because obviously, you know, there's nothing but you and him and there's nothing else to do. <laughs> and you kind of got a job to fulfill when it comes to that kind of stuff. But you know, she wanted to see what it was like to add that excitement. And obviously there was the the risk and reward to it. But at the same time, like, shoot, like if if anything, if there's nothing else you get out of it, like teach him what it is that she was doing yep. so that y'all can experience that together without having to bring a third person into it. And, third party. and Stop making you feel the way that you feel because now it's like, shoot, you're going to always have that inquisitive thought to wonder that, damn, like somebody else like really, man, had me spinning circles, okay? Like yeah. it, it was something I had never felt before. And that's exciting for people like that have never, especially when you've been in rotation with the same person for as long as you have and you experience something like that. Like I feel like her excitement about it is normal. I mm-hmm. just... I I think that <laughs> you know what I mean like as anybody would whether it was a man if they had a first experience of something that they've never done or never a position that they tried and it was like holy shit yeah. whoa okay that just blew my damn head off but at the same time it's like man how can I teach somebody to do that so they can do that every single time yeah. you know what I mean so but point blank period for me I I just I just understand where where the jealousy will come in at, absolutely you know? absolutely because if the shoe were on the other foot I feel like it would obviously be the same way and I think that's where when you have like those type of relationships that's where all that all of that will eventually start setting in because even if it were my idea and I see that she gets you off a different way and I'm like now, how come he don't do that when I do that? Right. And I do the same thing. That's what I'm saying. And it's the exact same thing. You're doing the exact <laughs> same action, but you can't, but you're not getting the same results. So right. that's the part right there where it's like a it's like a hit to the ego. Yeah. You know? So but she didn't say, like I said, she never said what it was. So it might be something that he just hadn't learned how to do just and and you can teach him that. Like, shoot, people are shoot, you anybody can be trained on doing something that you want them to do to you. Like if you want them to do it specifically, you can teach them how to do it because only you know what you like and only, you know what you like when you feel certain things. So like there's nothing wrong with her doing that. Like if, if he doesn't know how to do it, show him how to do it. But sometimes you can't teach an old dog new tricks. Yes, you can. 
Yes, the, and when that department, it, you sure you can teach them a whole lot of things that they didn't know how to do. Okay, but so so try that. That would be my recommendation. Try that, like really for real. Sit down with him, show yeah. him places wherever need to be placed, where it needs to be placed, so you can you can specifically be particular in what it is that you liked about what it is that she did and teach him how to do it. That's just about y'all right yeah, now. Yeah, y'all open the door like, shoot, now is the time, like, more than ever, like, start doing stuff that y'all don't normally do. Try things that y'all don't never, tr- like, normally try, like, and see how it works. And sometimes, I think that's the crazy part about, like, having, like, a, a sex, like, a a partner and having sexual experience with experiences with someone that you've had sex sexual encounters with for a very long time because there's that comfortability factor mm-hmm. so there's yeah. a lot of things that you can explore that maybe you haven't because y'all have just become so comfortable and that's the fun part about like whether you old or young or you're exploring and you just want to try new things like there's always things that you can try that i'm sure you haven't before whether it costumes it could be mm-hmm. foreplay it could be role playing it could be you know, just a list, a number of things, right, <laughs> that you don't normally do. Exactly. Maybe just because it takes a little bit more time to set it up. To, time, effort. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, like, once you get into it, it's like, man, think about some of that stuff. Like, you can really probably get into it and <laughs> sit there and do some really kinky shit. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and I don't know, by the time y'all actually get down to the act, yeah, it's the same sex, but, like, everything built up to it. Man, it don't change your life. Like y'all, y'all have a whole new outlook about what sex is and what intimacy intimacy is supposed to be with each other because you did take the extra step, steps to explore that. You know yeah. what I mean? I I cannot talk today, y'all. Sheesh. So yeah, so you know, I mean, no, I wouldn't recommend you keep going. Don't don't keep no, doing don't, that. Okay, don't I'm keep not going down that path. <laughs> don't if you if you're already saying that it's causing a problem. You definitely need to go ahead and, yeah. and just and just just put a stop to it completely. Yeah, because you don't want to push him away. Don't yeah. do that to him. You know, I'm, and and the fact that he recognizes it, like just try, just try your best to teach him what it is, and start doing some new stuff if that's what it takes to make everything spicy. He won't be looking for that threesome anymore. He gonna be like, Shoot. oh, at this point, no, he not looking for it no more. He not <laughs> all looking for I want no is my is my woman to to do this and this and that, and, y- and y'all get into it, right. man. Y'all gonna be like, y'all gonna be the new little freaks in the streets. They don't even know it. So when we have a sex, what I need to do better? Babe. What I need to do better? Let me just drink this drink. <laughs> <laughs> do I need to go longer? I mean, that's real talk, though. I mean, babe, why you always be asking me stuff like that? You know you know, I'm not going to get into all that over here. You're not going to have me. <laughs> You're looking crazy. Okay. I plead the fifth. Okay, next. Shout out to Anonymous for writing in to us, though, okay? Because that's a real-life situation. And, yeah. And, and a lot of married couples are, you know, more than now, more than ever, are experiencing, like experiencing stuff like, like that. threesomes and stuff like that, too. So. Yeah. That would be, I just, I know. I already know. I'm like, that would be my biggest fear. Like, my worst nightmare come true is, like, I beg you for something like that. And then, and then, and then see, like, all the expressions on your face. And I'd be like, uh-uh, get out. Okay. So, let me... <laughs> So, so since we're already on this topic of threesomes, if we were to have a threesome, what would be some of the things that I couldn't do? What, what's some of the things that she couldn't do? Everything she said. <laughs> Everything she said. Okay? I grow, I, <laughs> I'm a crib with anonymous, okay? Nah, you could be like, you can't touch her. Don't no, touch her. You can't. Don't, yeah, don't, you, don't look at right, her. Right, <laughs> anonymous. We on the same page. Okay. <laughs> Everything she said, okay? Oh, uh, that was good. Yeah. Yeah, y'all. Okay, so <laughs> since we're on the com- topic of conversation with threesome, so I wanted to read this. This was actually from uh, Reddit, and it was from uh, True Off My Chest, y'all. True Off My Chest. They always have some good stuff in there, too. So I'll make sure I'll leave the link down in the description if y'all want to check out this story because yeah. the commentary on this was crazy. But Get it off your chest. It says, regretting a threesome. I'm, I'm a... I'm male 35 and my wife female 36 have been married 14 years we went out for drinks for my birthday in july we always wanted to try a threesome and tonight was the night we met a college guy we hit it off with and we went to our place we were pretty drunk i sat down to watch them start and played with myself the guy was about five five or so so we were surprised when he pulled him out how endowed 
He was, and my heart dropped. I watched her take it for a while. She clearly was enjoying it. We've had a great marriage, respectful and everything. I guess the thing that's killing me is that she came with penetration with him easily, and she almost never does with me. She grabbed my hand while she was getting fucked and said, something's going to happen. Then she orgasmed. After I came, I guess post-nut clarity kicked in, and I was full of regret. She even tasted his cum after I told her beforehand that was a no-no. After he left, she was extra lovey-dovey with me like she knew. Since July, she has asked two separate times to meet up again. Also, since July, we've only had sex a handful of times, and it's not the same. I'm really depressed. Ooh. See, this right here is the perfect example of when a threesome goes wrong. <laughs> I was five, five, so what? He thought they were going to get back and, and his meat was going to be like pinky size. And it wasn't. And it was something that just blew and him she away. she enjoyed it. <laughs> Man. But you know what? Another thing that you got to also factor in. So was he mad that he had like a big Peter? I mean, what? Like, what What was the, he for real mad at? That she the, came because. Right. So what makes you mad? Isn't that what sex does? No, it's the fact that when you have two individuals that, that say that we finna do this, Babe. if you're sitting here watching another man hit your wife and then have her doing things that you can't do, you're going you're gonna to feel a way about it. You're just going to feel a way about it. And then the fact that, that they drunk. <laughs> Why are you mad, though? And then, and then he had a, 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 a post-nut epiphany. <laughs> you know, it, it, it was it was all good. It was all good when it when they was you know before the nut came, but but it just seemed like when when your mind get clear, it just like oh man, we made I made a big mistake. And then the visual that he sees of his wife, and then and then she tasting it and everything, like she done broke the rules now and everything. See, now see now you know, and okay, she broke the rules. You went a little bit too far with that. Okay. And it might have been because she was extra drunk. Maybe. Drunk out of mind. Maybe, but you know, like people like nasty ass sex though. They just that's what makes that's what that's why they get into it. I yeah. mean, to call it for what it is. That's that's you know, the yeah. nastiness is just a part. Yeah, and he paint and he <laughs> and he painted a great picture. He he painted a good picture. Like I, I had the whole visual in my head and everything. I'm just like, oh man, I, I see where this is going. <laughs> I'm seeing where this is going. <laughs> But you cross that line, and I mean, you can't be mad at nobody but yourself because you you let it happen. Oh man, you wanted it, so it's like you you know every dog has his day. That day wasn't your day, buddy. The results of what it is, like your actions, everything that yeah. you have to live with, like afterwards. I feel like that's the part that would just bother me the most. And and the same thing, like you know, I don't know, like he allowed a whole nother dude to like bang his wife though like i mean and that was one of the things i guess that he might have been okay with but like but uh, but uh. no but the thing is is that i feel i don't know i feel like it's a fantasy factor if i'm not if i'm being completely honest because it's the same thing with men like wanting to watch their man like have sex with another woman it's the same thing with a man wanting to watch their wife have sex with another man is like something about like that it's a fantasy factor i don't know what factor it is or or what where Make the face all you want, okay? Somewhere in there, it plays a part. Like I just want to watch that happen, and that's what that's what turns them on to right. do it. But what happens when reality kicks in and the fantasy is over? That's what I'm saying. That's the so problem. That's why I'm uh, like, yeah, do you yeah, yeah, think yeah, about yeah. the fantasy afterwards? Like, do you think about everything that's weighed into like making that decision like before? Because I feel like if you thought about it before, you wouldn't be so intrigued. Don't do it. I just want to talk to somebody that's had a threesome. I just want to know. I, I would like to, too, just to, just, to, <laughs> really just to ask them and and actually be able to sit there with both of them to talk about a threesome that they had. And I really just want to know. Did they enjoy it? Did they not enjoy it? Did they enjoy it at first and then laid on down the line? It was like something that they regretted. I'd be like, curious I really to know what know. people say, like what it is that they say about like why they get into stuff like that. Like why, like what are they thinking? How would, do they live with it? How are they okay with it? What is it about it specifically that turns them on to like, like if you out there, Okay, and you and your wife get down like that. Can you please send us the email directly? <laughs> y'all would love to have y'all on the show. Like, I'm dead ass. Okay, <laughs> next. Okay, we moving on. 
Okay, oh, that was just it. a STEM question from 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 this on. Uh, the title of this was called "Regretting the Threesome." This was off a trail of my chest, y'all. We're ready. All right, y'all. So to change it up a little bit, we're going. Like I said, we're doing some of these Reddit stories today, y'all. I've been seeing some really good ones lately. <laughs> Am I the asshole for refusing to pay my mother-in-law? I, female, thirty-one, gave birth to my beautiful son a week ago. Unfortunately. There were some complications, so I was only released yesterday, but I'm so grateful to be home with our baby boy. When my waters initially broke, my husband, male, 33, and I were at home, and I happened to be standing on my bedroom carpet. Cleaning was obviously not the priority, so I threw some towels down, and we left for the hospital. During the time we were in hospital, my mother-in-law, female, 59, kindly offered to feed our dogs for us, and we were very appreciative of our help. It was only once we get home yesterday that I saw my mother-in-law had left a receipt and a note stuck to the fridge saying that she had cleaned my bedroom carpet and wanted to be reimbursed. She had also taken it upon herself to clean the rest of the house while she was at it. And all in all, would like a day's pay of $25 per hour plus $200 worth of products uh, <laughs> <huh>? <laughs> it definitely sounds like some some mother-in-law problems right now come on come on now while it was nice of her to clean my carpet and then the rest of my house neither of us asked her to do this my husband wrote her the following text hello mom we really appreciate your help over the last few days while my name was in the hospital it was great having someone over to look after the dogs we noticed your note and receipt on the fridge and are a little upset you took it upon yourself to, one, snoop through the house as neither of us had told you about my name's water breaking in the in the bedroom. Number two, go out and buy hundreds of dollars worth of cleaning product. And then, number three, charge us for your time and the aforementioned products. We would also like to ask where these cleaning products are as if we are paying for them. We would certainly like to get our money's worth. When we entrusted you with the dogs, we really thought you were helping us out of the good of your heart and not giving you an opportunity to make a quick buck. We are family and are hurt you would do something like this while my name was so unwell. My mother-in-law immediately responded to my husband saying that she did what she did out of the kindness of our heart and she cannot believe we would be so ungrateful. I have also received some texts from extended family members saying that mother-in-law didn't have to help me, but did do despite her advanced age out of love. I have had to turn off my phone so that I don't have to deal with all the texts, but my husband is still getting a lot of hate from his family because we are manipulating the situation in quotes. And making the mother-in-law the bad guy when she was only trying to get the house ready for the baby. I am quite upset by the whole thing, but my husband is now saying that maybe we should pay to get the extended family off our back and just enjoy the time as new parents rather than dealing with all of this. I am not okay with paying his mom for anything. She <laughs> sent another text to my husband earlier saying she would be happy to gift us the products, take it off our bill. <laughs> Damn. In parentheses, Mama. but she would still like to be paid for her time given that she dealt with a biohazard. Mama in law. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> <laughs> and and for the biohazard. So she won't biohazard pay too. Hey, you gotta be messed up. I ain't paying for nothing. Okay. You brought your behind over there and you decided you wanted to start paying for stuff and, and, and take it upon yourself to clean up. Like we appreciate you. Thank you. Okay, but I'm not paying for you to do something that I didn't ask you to do, period. Mm. I don't care. I don't care. No. The answer is no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just here looking at the at the look at your face while you say this stuff. He's just like, you like hell to the no. Because the answer I is no. I didn't ask you to come over here. I didn't tell you to clean the rug. <laughs> I didn't tell you to get you no know, cleaning products. All we told you to do was come <laughs> over here and feed the dogs, and that was it. Like, nobody else told you to do nothing else. <laughs> <laughs> the answer is no. You know what I'm going to say. J just to smooth things over, just to make things right. Man. Go ahead and shoot her the fair one this time. And I mean, I, I don't think that you've been an asshole by not paying. 
I'm going to give you a smooth $50. Like, that's it. It don't cost that much for clean. What kind of cleaning products did you have to go buy for more than $100 to clean up water breaking water? But she probably got the stuff that's not at the Dollar General. <laughs> she probably didn't go to the Dollar Tree. But she should have took her ass to the Dollar Tree. Okay? She went and got, like, the real stuff, the Man. real, real stuff. I don't care what it is that she went the name to go brand. buy. For more than $100, you, you played yourself. Okay? Uh, me... <laughs> Me just cause family and you know you know, mama, we gonna pay you. We thank you for coming over here, but all that's not needed. Next time, if you can, just do exactly what we ask you to do, because we we don't want to have to pay any extra expenses. You we know didn't what I mean? ask her to do anything. She took it upon herself to come that's over what there I'm and saying. feed the dog. How much was the gas? Okay, <laughs> how much was the gas? That's what I'm gonna compensate you for. That's it. And that's all. Cause the rest of it. <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then she want, and then she wants some hourly pay too. <laughs> the fact that she asked for some hourly Mama pay. Mama in law, I'm gonna need you to get some business, Mama. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> but I'm saying though, for real though, like. Wait, so you mean to tell me that this lady came over there to clean up, and the whole time she cleaned, and she like, I've been here for four hours now, so that's twenty five dollars per hour that I've been here cleaning up for them. But don't. No, nah, she need to get out. Okay, I ain't paying her nothing. I'm not. <laughs> Because you already know when you're on maternity uh, leave, you half ass getting paid anyway. So I'm just like, help the family. You go help. Help. Right. Just do it Just do it out of the, out of the <laughs> generosity of your heart. <laughs> with us, with our situation. If, it, if that was my mama and she came over here and she, you know, we had another baby. Your mom would never. To, that's what I'm saying. Like, she would just do it and just do it. Your like, mom would never. Like, I already know. She would never even dare to ask. Like, she's not going to come up with a, uh, with a bill? Absolutely not. <laughs> No, she not. Absolutely not. She would never. That sound like some shit though. <laughs> like So what so what is it sound like an opportunity that the mother in law just took to say, Okay, I'm gonna do all of these things. I but think that's very assholeless of her I want my to money even back. Babe, you got me messed up. Girl, if you don't get this damn receipt, <laughs> it's take your receipt out of the your, ass. Take the rest of your products with you. I don't need you to come back over and feed my dogs. Don't feed the chickens. I don't need you to do nothing. Okay? Don't come back over here. Babe, it's <laughs> no, okay. <laughs> we, hey, let's just pay her this, if babe, you let's tell just pay somebody, her this one time. No, hell no. If you tell somebody that you're doing something out the kindness of your heart, then let it be out the kindness of your heart and not leave them a receipt on their refrigerator. But she did do it out the kindness, kindness of her heart. Yeah, with the intent to get paid back. Attached like, with a bill. <laughs> It was kind. Of, I was kind. It came from my heart, but get your kindness on the heart, ass. But, <laughs> We're talking. Heck yeah, okay. You can't sit with us. That's okay? crazy. She doesn't even go here. That's crazy that she went went down the list and like just re- retracted a bill <laughs> for for her services, and then said that she's gonna get paid twenty five dollars an okay. hour, and then she made up her own damn fee. And you, the mother in law, what happened to the friends and family discount? What right. are we doing? Right. <laughs> But everybody has different <laughs> expectations when it comes to doing things out the kindness of, of their heart. You know what I mean? Yeah. I'm just saying. Nah, babe. But just to make everything cool and That was not the kindness kosher, of her heart. Okay? That right. was the kindness to her wallet. How about that? That's true. It, it, and that could be very, very true. But what I'm saying <laughs> is when it comes to like the family dynamic, that being his mama, that being her mother-in-law, just to make everything cool right now, like I'm going to shoot you this fair run. I'm going to go ahead and pay you now. But moving forward, mama-in-law, I don't need you to come over for nothing else. <laughs> I shoot her the fair one this time. It's Mom all it's all good. Like I'm gonna play by the rules with this one. Mm-mm. She can't sit with me since she went above and beyond no. to answer the question. I think they all they've been an asshole for not just paying her back. <laughs> Give her her money back. <laughs> you go get your own damn money back. I didn't ask you to do that. So for that, with your kindness of your heart, they I could have waited ha- until I got home and I cleaned my own damn spot. They okay? probably they probably don't have no cleaning products. If she went over there to the house to feed the dogs and looked around for that. I would have got a new rug. What you mean? Yeah, but that's what I'm saying. <laughs> but that's your mama in law. Give like, a damn. I don't give a damn. <laughs> it'd, be no. di- it'd be different if she's done this like four or five, six times <laughs> and y'all paid it, but y'all kept telling, like, okay, like this is the last time. You don't have to do all of no. this. <laughs> it's like if this just a one off. She said that this was the kindness out of her heart, that she did it from the kindness of her heart. Yeah. Then that means you did it out of generosity and kindness. Yeah, to clean the floor, but it don't have nothing to do with it. You paying for me back free. for it. No, no. no. 
<laughs> y'all tap in. If y'all enjoyed this episode, be sure you give us a big thumbs up, like, comment, subscribe, smash the notification bell so you don't miss any videos from Asia and BJ. Make sure y'all tap out or tap into all of our uh, other YouTube channels as well. If y'all are listening to us on a streaming platform, be sure you hit that download button. Leave us a review. Leave us some commentary, y'all. It's always good to have y'all in here. Uh, hug your babies. Kiss your loved ones, y'all. Pet your dogs. I love y'all so, so much for everything y'all do for us. We could not be any of what we are without any one of y'all. And for that, we are truly, truly thankful. And we appreciate each and every one of y'all. Oh, yeah. Uh, and with all of that said, shoot, if ain't nobody else told y'all today, I love you. <laughs> and we're going to see y'all in the next episode, y'all. <laughs> Peace and blessings. Y'all take it easy. Yeah, y'all. Much love. Y'all stay safe. Bye.